Hi Sagittarius, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Saggies, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. You could check your sun or moon rising or your natal chart that may help you to connect the dots or there is a possibility that this is not your reading and either resonates or it doesn't resonate please don't try to force the shoe to fit it will only confuse you or feel free to book me for a personal reading all that information is in my description box okay I just want to apologize in advance behind these doors I have family over I guess everyone's tired of being on lockdown you know so everybody decided to come here but uh it is what it is. It's all love, peace, and unity, you know, as long as they keep it down. As long as they keep it down. Okay, so, Sagis, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's see what we have here. We have man holding a coin in reverse. Let's see that. Five of swords. Eight of coins in reverse. And four of wands in reverse. So it looks like... Someone was in a, a relationship with somebody where uh, they were being used. I feel so actually that you realized this about somebody and you decided to walk away. Uh, if you were engaged to someone, you may have called off the engagement. Mm -hmm. But someone canceled some things. I feel like someone canceled an engagement. Like, no, you're not the right person for me. Uh, you realize, Sagi, that this person that you were with, they were being false someone was out for their own best interest with you and this was financially i feel like some of you had a masculine energy that was in your life that was uh, using you for money for their own best interest mm -hmm. some of you this was affecting your health you were all stressed out someone wasn't eating someone was overeating and that was because of stress it was stress induced and that was because of what you were going through with this person so it looks like you walked away you stop putting effort in with somebody because you realize that they weren't putting, I just heard commitment phobe. So you may have realized that someone was a commitment phobe and they were playing games with you. So you decided to not put any effort into them anymore, not put any effort into the relationship. Someone was dealing with someone who was very lazy. They had no ambition. Uh, they could have been very vain. Mm -hmm. I also feel like for some of you, you were dealing with an, a masculine energy that was very um, disillusioned. So they, it's like they had this uh, mentality that if you're with them, you're supposed to take care of them. And it doesn't really work like that. It's equal reciprocity. I give, you give. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I also feel like for some of you uh, feminine saggies, you allowed yourself to be disillusioned by someone. Even some of you males. You masculine energies, you allowed yourself to be disillusioned by someone. You thought that someone really cared for you and you realized that they were just using you. Someone realized that someone was a hypocrite. So someone would be pointing out all of their flaw, flaws, the things they think they should be doing and how they should be doing something, but they themselves were not, I just heard, holding themselves to that standard. So they had really high expectations of what you were supposed to be doing in your life while they were doing jack shit. Mm-hmm. So you walked away from somebody because you weren't happy. They had you in this headspace where you're always uh, having anxiety. You were always worried about something. Uh, they fucked with your uh, stability and your security within. This person had you in a, a headspace where you just, you weren't in your zen. Mm -hmm. Always stressed out. Unfulfilled. And a lot of insecurity. This person made you feel insecure. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person triggered your insecurity as well, Sagittarius. Uh, someone was doing something uh, to make someone feel like they weren't uh, good enough mm -hmm. or they weren't stable. Yes. Some of you, this is a side, a side story I'm getting. Uh, you were with someone who uh, made it seem like you were the reason why the relationship wasn't stable, but really it was them because they're a commitment foe. So they would be in and out and they would make it seem like uh, it's because of things that you were doing, why they needed to leave all the time. But really, it was just an excuse for them to go off and go play around mm -hmm. because they weren't really serious about being in a relationship.
someone in this collective, you were engaged to someone and you realized that they were a player and they weren't trying to, trying to turn in their player card anytime soon. Uh, they were making it seem like they were ready for commitment and they were ready to take the relationship to a deeper level, a higher level. But behind the scenes, that's not what they were doing. They were just out to get something that you had something of value. Some of you realized that someone that you were engaged to or someone that you were with was just with you for financial benefits. Someone was using you for stability and security. Sagis because they didn't have any balance in their own lives. Uh, you let this person go as well because you realized that they weren't bringing that into your... Some of you were in a headspace that was just fucked up. Uh -huh. And it was just you stressing over someone who just really didn't... They really didn't care because they didn't have your best interests at heart. It was all about how they could benefit from you, what you could do for them. And this triggered your uh, insecurity in terms of you worrying about if you're good enough. I feel like some of you kept giving and kept doing and kept trying to hold up this bridge with somebody uh, because you really thought that uh, it was going to go somewhere. You know, some of you were hoping to get married to somebody and have a family with someone. But then you realized that this was not the right person for you. Mm -hmm. It's like you took the blindfold off and you realize, you know what, I, I really need to be doing something different with my life because you're not, I'm not going to get the fulfillment that I'm looking for with you. Someone was in a uh, on and off relationship, back and forth, one minute we're together, the next minute we're not. One minute we're an item, the next minute we're single. And I feel for some of you in this collective, Sagis. You're focused on your money now because this person took you for a ride. So now you're learning how to rebuild your stability and your security. You're learning how to rebuild that within yourself to get that sense of uh, stableness in yourself. So that you can create that in your outer world. Someone's at a crossroads in their spirituality. So that is the, the things that you used to believe, they no longer serve you. They no longer resonate with you. So now you are in an energy where you are, you're searching, you're going through self-discovery on what it is that really brings fulfillment for you, what spiritual path you should be taking that is going to allow you to bring and sustain inner fulfillment, inner satisfaction. Because you lost your Zen with this person, Saji. Yep. Someone was stressed. A lot of arguments, a lot of conflict. Someone was with someone who had a bad temper. They were very critical. They could have been very, um, what is it, emotionally, verbally, physically, mentally abusive. And you decided to walk away from this. Yes, you did. So I pulled... Uh, Whispers from within oracle cards are just guidance from spirit for you. And we have here, breakthrough. Mm -hmm. So this is focused on the outcome of your desires today. And I was picking that up, Sagis, that you are, you separated from the situation with someone and now you're trying to figure out what your next move is. I do feel a loneliness with some of you though. Uh, some of you, you kind of miss this person, but you know they're not good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, have a bit more patience with the process and don't give up okay you never got what you wanted some of you wanted to be married by a certain time or uh, be engaged by a certain time and it didn't happen spirit is saying don't give up it's going to happen just not with this person spirit wants you if you're doing it to do it right you know they said a job a job started well is half done right so notice synchronicities as signs that a breakthrough is near a lot of you, you may be feeling in a space where you just don't even want to deal with anybody. You don't want to meet anybody. You just want to focus on your money. And there's nothing wrong with that. Spirit just wants you to have balance, you know? So Spirit is sending you a lot of signs. Someone may be seeing 222 a lot or 1111, 333444. That has to do with stability, security, protection, divine protection. Mm -hmm. uh, just your angels, your guides, your ancestors letting you know that they're there and you're not going through this alone. So Spirit wants you to notice, uh, notice these synchronicities, notice these signs. And this is just upstairs, you know, 
your etheric family upstairs telling you that we're here with you every step of the way. Keep an open mind as your hard work will pay off in ways that are unimaginable right now. So for a lot of you that are focusing on your work, Spirit wants you to keep doing that. Just do it from a place of balance. So you're taking time out to be with yourself. You're taking time out to meet new people. Uh, you're taking time out to explore new opportunities, you know. And be open-minded about it. You know, you, you may think that it's supposed to come a certain way or it's supposed to happen a certain way. And it's just like when you do that, you limit yourself from the infinite possibilities of how the universe can manifest something in your life. So Spirit wants you to learn how to work with the universe instead of trying to do it by yourself. And allow Spirit, <laughs> allow spirit to figure out the how to your breakthrough. So like I said, a lot of you may be figuring out um, what you want to do. And Spirit's just like, okay, just get to that part get to that point and don't try to figure out the abc's every intricate detail of something let spirit do its part you do your part and let the universe do its part All right so even though this situation did not work out i really strongly i feel like there is something better coming for you coming towards you saggies and spirit just wants you to balance yourself out so that you can see these opportunities and you can open these doors for yourself so that you can uh create have more balance because some of you you were giving too much that's why this person was able to use you because they had you in a state of disillusionment thinking that they were a certain way and they were going to do something but you were really being deceived when you are balanced you catch that shit right away. And I feel like a lot of you, you've learned from this situation. You are now smarter, you're faster, you're wiser. Mm -hmm. You're not into things with people who just think that you're supposed to give to them. No, it's equal give and take here. It's equal reciprocity. If we are in a committed relationship, then you have to act committed. You can't just tell me that you're committed and you're here, but you're not doing anything. I feel a lot of you, Sagis, you're in this energy right now where you are. You have learned from the mistakes. You have learned from things that did not go the way you planned them to go. You have learned uh, from... I heard repeated errors. So just things that you kept doing that were getting you the wrong result. They say uh, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. A lot of you are realizing your own insanity, your own insane behaviors, because you kept getting back with someone thinking that things were going to be different, but you already know how this person is. You already know how they show up. You already know how they don't show up. So spirit is, um, a lot of you have overcome this challenge and you are moving in that energy now of okay i'd rather be by myself and being good on my own than be with someone and be unhappy mm -hmm. or be in a relationship where i have to be uh be everything mm -hmm. and i have to do everything and i get nothing in return spirit wants you to learn how to create balance in your life sagis okay sagittarius this is what i have for you if any of this resonates smash that like button for me if not another time and with that being said, I'm going to wrap this reading up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.